I'm here with Patrick Sabrin, and today we're going to be disagreeing with people. No, we're not. Yes. Yes, we are. No, we are not. Hey, uh, what brand is that sweater? Echo. Quicksilver, right? Yeah? Quicksilver? Yeah. Quicksilver, yeah? That's the brand? No, it's Echo. No, no, it's Quicksilver, right? Call this hairstyle your hairstyle like this. The bun. It's Natalie's bun. It's trademark. Pretty sure it's a ponytail though, right? That's Sock that's the bun. ponytail. It's a sock. I don't know. I think that your name's Aiden there. I'm in. I'm on. The, I'm in the cast. I think I know when opening night is. I'm in F and M. Friday. Are you here for volleyball? Yes, man. What school do you go to? Um, no, MCS. Huh? No, you go to MCS, right? Sure. No, no, I go to Lisbon. So I'm here at uh, volleyball offso with Justin Trudeau's son. Uh, no, Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper, you're Stephen Harper's son. Yeah. Mmm. No, I. Multiple people told me that you're Justin Trudeau's son. No. Yeah. I think you're wrong, man. Hi, my name is Samantha Green. I play the role of Linda. I'm Kayla McKeon, and I'm Mrs. Johnston. Hi, I'm Naomi Simpson, and I play Mrs. Lyons. My favorite part of being part of Blood Brothers is the fact that you become a big family with all of the cast, and you get to meet so many new people. Blood Brothers is a British show. It's like a rags to riches story. It's about a mother who can't afford to keep. Two brothers, Mickey and Eddie. So she gives one away to a rich lady who can't have kids. They grow up in different social classes. And it's sad and fun. All the and happy guy. and sad. Very Mostly sad. sad. And then you'll have to see the show to see what happens. What's up, girl? Nothing's happening. All I want to do is talk to you All I want to be is close to you One sixty four, please. And uh, tech hallway. Yep, tech hallway. Get in the hallcat. Whoa! It's a F and N game show right here in my taxi. I'm gonna give you a ride to your destination, and I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions that will get harder as we go along. All right. As long as you answer the questions correctly, I'm gonna give you a sucker for every question you get correct. Okay. And if you get two questions wrong, you're gonna have to exit the taxi. Okay. Or finish the famous phrase. Luke, I am your. Uh, I'm gonna have to say father. father. That's correct. All right. What is the prickliest rodent? Ooh. Porcupine. That's correct. 
What is the symbol for the element potassium? That's a big old capital K. All right, that's correct. What is Canada, Canada's or national animal? Uh, beaver. No, that's incorrect. Uh, it's the Canadian horse. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. What are the five colors on the Olympic flag? Uh, I'm going to have to say uh, red, blue, uh, black, green, and uh, yellow. That's correct. We have arrived at your destination. Oh, there she is. That is four suckers. You have a choice to double your chances or nothing. I'm Do gonna, you want to? I'm going to go double or nothing. Solve for X. Ooh. All right. Ten, you have 10 seconds on the clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct! There you go. The craziest thing we've ever done is go indoor skydiving. The craziest thing I've ever done is when I broke my mom's tailbone. My craziest thing that I've ever done was banana boat in the middle of the ocean. The craziest thing I've ever done is bungee jump. Um, the craziest thing I've ever done is I ran into a fence. The craziest thing I've ever done was went to bed at 12 on a Thursday night. Uh, I think the craziest thing would be jumping off a bridge into a river. The craziest thing I've ever done is abseiling down a mountain. And slippers. Crazy. Oh yeah, the craziest thing I've ever done is I wrestled with a grizzly bear in, in Vancouver, BC, and I actually won. and downs, my fair share of bumpy roads and heavy winds. That's what made me what I am today. Now I stand here before you. What you see is a body crafted to perfection. A pair of legs engineered to defy the laws of physics. And a mindset to master the most epic of splits. and I love the snow. Ain't it? And I'm here to find out if you love the snow, STA. How do you feel about the snow? Well, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty cold out there. But, uh, I trouble it. How do you feel about the snow out there, bud? It's snow okay. How do you feel about the snow? 
Uh, it sucks because it's really heavy to shovel and it takes a really long time. I love the snow because you can make snow angels. Um, I don't really like the snow because it makes me depressed. So. How do you feel about the snow? Um, it's pretty cold. How do you feel about the uh, recent snowstorm, Rob? Uh, I think it's pretty unreal and it's uh, I'm kind of disappointed that they took away that snow day from us. Yeah, it's a bummer. Yeah. How do you feel about the recent snowfall? Well, I practically needed flamethrowers and water removal to clear out my driveway. That's, that's just all I'm going to say. How do you feel about the snow, Bernie? It's good exercise. Yeah. So, Broden, how do you feel about the snow? Uh, I'm very happy about the snow. That means Bowler's going to be opening up soon. I have a job there, so that supports me. There we go. Got a few uh, lovers over there. But um, yeah, yeah I'm, I love it. How do you feel about snow? Um, snow is great. How do you feel about the uh, recent snowfall, Brett? Well, the recent snowfall really sucks. Um, can't ride my motorcycle to school anymore, which is why I'm, uh, which is why I'm here right now. So. I, w I was excited for the snow because it's like my birthday season. I got mixed reactions from STA, but the fact remains, I still love snow. I thought that people got shoved in lockers a lot. Yeah, because of his height, but you know, it's, it's all good. Um, that's going to be like lost everywhere in the school and not find anywhere uh, The myth that I heard was that high school is scary as heck and there was a lot of fights. Uh, and that's also one of the fears I had, because I wasn't sure if I was real or not. The biggest myth that I thought that was actually not true was all the initiations and fights that would be going on here. I found out that there actually isn't like any at all. And one fear that I had was uh, meeting new people. I didn't really think that I would meet that many new people, but I met like a ton. So, uh, I thought I was going to get like stuffed in a locker. Surprised that didn't happen. Um, what I was afraid of was, uh, I don't know, like I'm really short and stuff, so... I get pushed around, but it's doing pretty well. The biggest myth that I heard coming into high school would have to be that it'd be like a really big change and that it'd be really scary. It's actually kind of fun and I'm enjoying it. A lot of homework was my biggest fear um, and that I wouldn't have all my friends because a lot of them moved away. But you make a lot of new friends, so. Uh, the biggest myth for me was initiation, uh, which isn't true. You're actually not allowed to do that. And my biggest fear was probably meeting all the new people because there's like three times the amount of people in your grade. not going looking like that, and I know your wife won't want you going looking like that. Go, 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 go. It's not a mustache, honey, it's who we are. Yeah, Amy, it's who we are. I remember when I was a kid, playing with my 
G.I. Joe. Well, they sure could fight, but. Uh, hi, I'm Lucas Vandenhovel, and I'm in uh, grade 12. I uh, started on the 1st of November. Uh, I think it's a good cause, and uh, I myself donated two bucks to the uh, thing so I could feel entitled to uh, wear this stash. Oh, you know, um, the boys are trying to grow out the stashes this year. I have to shave, I have a girlfriend, it doesn't matter. Um, but I, I support all the guys who like to rock mustaches and beards, and I think you're awesome. We're here to introduce you to a couple of people you might not know about. I work for the London District Catholic School Board. I work for South London Neighborhood Resource Center. I work for the London District Catholic School Board and St. Thomas Aquinas and all of the elementary schools that feed to STA. Uh, student Success Teacher is a teacher that is yet sort of another level of support here at STA. Like we have guidance, administration, teachers. I'm yet another person to help students if they have any kind of academic concerns and students who are not identified. So students who are identified have the opportunity to go to resource and students that are not identified have the opportunity to come to me for academic support. So my role uh, within the schools is to assist newcomer families and newcomer students connecting to resources in the community such as tutoring, uh, mental health resources, uh, even recreation. So I'm a social worker and I support students. I do things like one-on-one -on -one meetings where I support them through struggles or challenges, any kind of change. And I also assist them with personal growth, things that they might want to work First, as a teacher, if they have any concerns about the student, would go to guidance and mention to the guidance counselor that perhaps that student is struggling a little bit, and then it is up to the guidance counselor to refer that student to me. Students can actually contact me through their guidance counselors or through any staff just by requesting services by the settlement worker in school. If you want to access services through me as a social worker, I would ask that you do that through connecting with your guidance counselor. And increasingly over the years, the world has been experiencing catastrophic weather events affecting the lives of many all over the world. These next clips I'm going to show you are just a few tragic events. Step 1. Bring non-perishable items to your home room. Step 2. Leave them outside your home room door. Step 3. Mrs. Jackson's elves will take the goods and leave you a message. Miss Jackson will keep track of stats to see which class brings in the most canned goods. Here at FNM, we get a lot of criticism for not having segments people want to see. So we went directly to the source to see what you, the viewers, want to see on FNM. I want to see a full-on news report on FNM. Here in the western region, we have more dead manatees and sinkholes. And uh, for some reason, there's a large manatee fatality, so stay away from that region if you are a manatee. Thanks for that, Tom Tucker. Now an interesting story with Dom Cheslenka in the field. We're here at the Coach for Kids campaign, and it's a little rough, but it's all good. It's all for a good cause. Back to you at the studio, SDA. More stunts. <sighs> okay. Here at FNN, we hear you guys want to see more stunts. So I'm going to jump this chair. I would like to see a flash mob on FNN.
people getting hurt and scared on FNN. All right, I'm all healed up and ready for round two of FNN stunts. My assistant Bryce, come here Bryce. This is my assistant Bryce. Let's go world. I want to see a smack cam on FNN. Smack cam. Like you barely oh, have bad eyes. Cool. Like, yeah, right? try Mine's like awesome. not my <laughs> the same yeah, time, really, this is like the third really... time I got slap canned actually. This camera's off. 